So I thought I'll teach you something really cool that came up today during a coaching session that I had. And that cool thing is the thing that nobody knows or at least nobody realizes about comfort zones. And the truth about comfort zone, the, the, the amazing thing that's going to change your life is that comfort zones are not static things that you try to grow they're actually very dynamic things that change based on necessity so what does that mean most people when they think of comfort zones um, usually people in self-development they think of them as like this you could say like this circle and anything inside the circle is things that I am comfortable doing. Anything outside the circle is things that I'm not comfortable doing. And the further away you get from the circle, the more uncomfortable the thing is. So, for example, right at the tip of the circle might be, you know, making a sales call to somebody who asked for more details about your product. At the far end of it, could be public speaking in front of 10,000 people. Now, most people think that, again, this is a circle that's static. That means you start at a very uh, specific base. Uh, you know, maybe somebody has more comfort zone, maybe somebody has less, but it doesn't change. Like what, it's like uh, leveling, leveling up a character. Like the grounds you've covered are your new comfort zone, you know, like you, for example, you got comfortable public speaking in front of 15 people. Well, that means you've, ex how do they say, expanded your comfort zone. And this is simply the new uh, level. And what you've uh, expanded, this is the comfort zone, and it just stays like this. And one, the bad news is that it's dynamic, meaning that even grounds that you've previously covered can actually go back to being out of your comfort zone, which means that, again, let's say you got used to public speaking and suddenly, you know, something happened in your life, you couldn't do that for a long time. It's probably going to slowly come back out of your, like come back out of your comfort zone and not feel comfortable. But the good news, and this is really, really good news, is that you can actually directly grow your comfort zone by thousands, like mul multiple, multiple, multiple times based on one factor, which is necessity. What does that mean? Necessity is basically how much you have to do something. So the example that I gave to the person I was coaching was that under normal circumstances, you probably won't feel comfortable just coming up to people you know, that you don't know and asking them for things, and you probably won't do it. But let's say that you were with your kid, and your kid was very hungry, and you forgot to take money with you, and he really needed to eat right now. How much will your comfort zone stop you now, if at all? Like, you'd feel like something that was previously really out of your comfort zone, suddenly it's a lot less scary, because it's a lot more scary, the thought of your kid, like, starving, than the thought of just asking people for help. And regardless of how it feels, you're going to do it. So you can actually multiply and, and expand major grounds for your comfort zone simply based on necessity. So take whatever it is that you're afraid of doing right now, whether it's approaching women or public speaking or making videos and kind of exposing who you are, anything that might be in the way of you attaining what you want. You don't actually need to overcome these things, like it's, it, it doesn't have to be like, you know, I'm going to be brave now and 
I'm going to try, and you know, you kind of try, and then you don't do it, and then sometimes you do do it. Uh, no, 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 no. It's, it's pointless. It's you, just a waste of time and lots of mental and emotional resources. Uh, you, the two fastest ways to do it is either getting a mentor, which relates to necessity, because when you have a mentor, you feel like you have to kind of live up to what he expects of you. Which, again, it's necessity. So the, the only way <laughs> to do that pr very effectively is to raise the necessity. So if you are, have trouble approaching that girl, you could literally walk around for an hour and think about it and think about it and think about it and not do it. You can waste full, like whole days, even months. And the reason I'm using the girls' example, approaching women, is actually because this is what happens happened to me. Like... Uh, and also it happened to me in sales, by the way, with cold calls at the beginning. Like, I, it was just too scary. And I would like, I would say, okay, today's the day. I'm going to, you know, approach this many women and, you know, get a phone number or something. Uh, again, same with cold calls. Like, okay, today I'm going to make this many cold calls and I just won't do it. And then I try the next day and the next day and the next day. And I would spend weeks trying these feats. And it almost felt like the fact that I was trying mattered. Because, hey, I tried and I couldn't do it. But it only matters if you actually did it. You know, if you didn't fail, it's perfectly fine. But if you didn't even do it and just tried to do it but didn't do it, uh, you get nothing. Not only do you not get any recognition or why you shouldn't, you know, reward yourself, but it's even worse because you actually condition yourself to, first of all, not do what you're, you say you're going to do, which is literally the worst thing you can possibly do to yourself and uh you know beyond that i mean like what, you're conditioning yourself as a loser like hey i'm good with not even trying so yeah this is a really really important point and you, you can skip it all so there were days where i was like okay i'm gonna call a friend and i told my friend look if i don't do this if i don't approach this many women or if i don't make this many calls Today, I'm going to pay you $500. And you know what? I did it. <laughs> it's like the fear was gone. It's like the fear was psychological, and I, I, I had it in my brain. And it wasn't real because my, my comfort zone, out of necessity, it expanded immensely. So it's just a cool story to exemplify that. To summarize, when you're facing situations in your life that require you to act out of your comfort zone, don't try to manually expand it. The odds that you'd actually do it are very, very low, and it, it would require a lot of effort. This is basically a, a complete waste of time. It's like you've had a, you have a car, and you need to get somewhere, and it takes like five minutes, but then you choose to walk, so now it takes like 30, 40 minutes. So it's really that big of a difference, and maybe even bigger. <laughs> Uh, next time you are in that situation where you need to expand your comfort zone, don't focus on pushing through the comfort zone and, and expanding it, like, you know, trying really hard and resistance and stuff. Instead, create a necessity for you to accomplish that thing that would require you to break your comfort zone, and that would solve it. Now, you might be thinking... You know, I don't want to do it. It's uh, it's too much of a, of a stress. You know, I don't want to commit to it. But here's the thing: like, let's say you said you're gonna do 20 cold calls today to people who might you know be interested in buying your product. If you said you're gonna do it, then why would you not commit to it? Why would you not create necessity if you, you said you were going to do it? And that's a huge philosophy that led me through many, many decisions where I was like, well, if I am going to do it, why not just act as if it's already been done? And what that means is, again, if you are going to do those 20 calls or whatever it is you need to do, why procrastinate why try and then not do it and then try again and not do it and then promise tomorrow you will do it and then lose motivation and keep trying and why why and i'm also 
asking this out of frustration at me because I've done this for so long. Fortunately, not anymore, but I spent, I think, half a year of my life, like not at one time, but like six months of my life, if you sum all the times that I tried to do something that was scary and tried to do it without you know, any necessity and basically failed, six months of my life, half a year, was spent not doing things that I knew I should do and trying and failing. So it's, it's fucking horrible. Okay, so that's the message I have for you. Create that necessity and it will dramatically expand your comfort zone and find, suddenly you'll find yourself doing the very things that you know you rationalized you couldn't do because of the comfort zone. Again, it's, it's a myth. It's, comfort zone is just a myth. It's, it's so what? Like, okay, so it's less stressful. It's more stressful. What's outside of your comfort zone? The only question is, will you do it or will you not do it? And when there's necessity, you will do it. And again, with time, it will feel less and less scary. If you don't have the proper necessity, you just won't get out of your comfort zone. You won't do these things. Again, the further away from your comfort zone, the more necessity you need to force you to do that. And um, that's the message for today. So hope you find it useful. Uh, feel free to get on a coaching session with me if you want. You can find the link in the description to book a call. And thank you for watching.